What aggravates me to no end is I still say we have given Mr. Downey huge advantages by where he is going to pick up additional road frontage. Anybody that knows anything, when they look to see where the gas station goes, when they look to see where the convenience store goes, when they look to see in many other businesses, businesses are driven by how much road frontage you have, how much access you have to the traffic. And I just think we're, we've put tons of money in his pocket on top and beyond this ridiculous settlement. Of, of, of putting tons of money in his pocket. Uh, yeah. That's just, just our opinion, though. Just our opinion. But uh, uh, next up... Um, well, Commissioner Tom Stewart agreed with 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 settling. Uh, he said he, he said because he thought it would... He was afraid it would just cost more down the road. It, it, it would be up to a jury to decide, and maybe a jury would decide to give him everything that he wanted, which was an additional $1.4 million. Right. So, and, and, and I do want to point out also, while, while we're on this discussion, this is certainly a lame duck commission. This was one of the last things that they voted yes. on. So uh, look to see who's in favor of this, ladies and gentlemen, and who's against it. It'll tell you a lot. So let's listen to what Mr. Uh, Commissioner Stewart had to say. Roll tape. He, his original uh, appraisals was 1.4 and 1.5, respectively, his two appraisals. Ours was 775, 775,000. We took it by animal domain because we couldn't reach a half a median, uh, and we paid him the 775,000. We're in the process now of the court actions on the animal domain. He came back and said he would take 1.3 and include parcel C. Is that correct? Basically, 1.3, 1.32. That's that's correct. And what I'm saying is, I believe that's going to be pretty close. If you pursue the court action on the on the initial intimate domain, and you lose that case to any extent, uh, and that's going to automatically require legal fees be paid by us and interest be paid by us. And then guess what you're going to have to do? You're going to have to turn around the next short period of time in intimate domain parcel C, which is a full taking of a house and property. And when you do that, uh, I don't think you're going to be any better off. I think you're going to be worse off because that property then becomes valuable. And and we've already lost one case in court should we lose it. And and if we lose a dollar, if they won't, if the, if the uh, jury gives a dollar more than the 775 then we're putting ourselves in an awkward position and I just think it's it's better if we can get him at 1.3 to go ahead and take it and not have to fool with parcel C down the road it will become ours automatically so I don't know what others may feel about it I would I would vote to to settle with him at the 1.3 well Commissioner Stewart I know as a taxpayer I certainly appreciate your opinion on giving more of my money away I you know I'll express my humble opinion here I'm certainly happy to see you gone because you've been one of the sp the spendingest county commissioners I've ever seen in well, my he's, life he's afraid of losing in court that's oh yeah it's a it's a it's a good it's a yeah he's he he's, I, he stays up awake at night worrying about Santa Rosa County losing money his record certainly supports that so uh if you didn't catch the sarcasm there, you need to tune your TV up a little bit. But you know that, that that that's his that's his opinion. Now, uh, the next clip is is uh, our county attorney Dan Hauser, and I want to I want to say something because this is going to be important to a clip later on. Mr. Dan Hauser's position is there's a high and a low in this. Mr. Dan Hauser has not advised the county commissioners to go one way or another. He said, this is the low end, 775, what we've paid already. The high end may be 1.4 to maybe even a little bit higher. Um, he said Mr. Downey's offer was on the very high end of reasonable. On the very Let's high. Let's use the phrase reasonable. <laughs> yeah, the very, on. the very high. He's on the high end of reasonable. This is foreshadowing using the word reasonable. Right. My recommendation is that it's in the top of the range of what would be a reasonable offer. I would, I mean, the, the problem is, as I pointed out in my memo, there's such a wide disparity between the appraisals. There's not a magic perfect number. With the addition of parcel C, or that frontage, I would say this would be on the very high end of the range of what would be a reasonable 
settlement. I too have had lengthy conversation with the county attorney um, seeking advice and direction. Each time the response is we think it's a reasonable uh, request on Mr. Downey's part. It's a reasonable range. Can we do better? Maybe. Um, maybe not. So I'm, I'm, I'm inclined, and I told the county attorney this morning, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. He just said it's a reasonable range. Uh, it throws in the additional partial. It's reasonable. We've done due diligence. Some people may disagree with that, but I think we have. I'm ready to move forward with the project. Uh, I don't want this to become like a courthouse where we just debate it for years and years and years and, and nothing happens. County attorney said it's reasonable range, so I'm going to support it. The best part, though, came at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it did. The star of our show, Commissioner Salter. The star. Um, after that, a motion had been made to to go ahead and pay Mr. Downey the settlement amount of six hundred thousand dollars, and and Commissioner Salter seconded it, but he only he would only second it. Um, if Commissioner which, Stewart which, added a clause, which yeah, was? Which was that this was a reasonable amount. Right. I move that we proceed with the proposed settlement uh, that has been discussed and worked with between the county attorney and Mr. Downey uh, to draw it to a conclusion at, as stated in the uh, opinion that the county attorney has rendered to us. And I would uh, there a second. ask for a second. Mr. Chairman, I will second that if he will include... It has been recognized as a reasonable range. And uh, as determined by the county attorney to be within the reasonable range, though it may be at the high end. I so and, so and it's not enough that it's not enough that it passed. You you had to got to qualify. You had to be thinking correctly about it. Right. And and, and, and you know, um, Commissioner Salter, Mr. Danhauser, the county attorney, never said it was a reasonable price. He said that from here to here is a reasonable range. He never once said it's a reasonable price to go ahead and give Mr. Downey $1.4 million for that property damage included. He said it was the upper range. Of he, he said it was the upper acceptable. range, and, and you, are, you are simply putting words in the county attorney's mouth, which he works for you, and, and he won't object in that case, I will object for him because I don't think he appreciated it. He made sure that was rolled into the motion itself, the new language. Well, we, we, you know, we always have to qualify things, there, but when we know everybody that's sitting around us disagrees, you know, if we can manage to get that thing cranked through there and work through there, then when somebody reads the motion or reads the minutes to the meeting a, a couple years from now, they'll go, well, the county attorney said that was a reasonable price, so you know we should go ahead and trust that. And I just, I just want to point out to you that I don't believe it was a reasonable price. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, uh, and, and the last time we talked about this, I was very nice and polite and hoped that there would be additional conversations and reasonable negotiations. I don't know where the breakdown was. Uh, maybe on our side more than Mr. Downey. I, I, you know, hey. In in negotiations, hey, if I had something to sell, I'm gonna throw you I'm gonna throw you the high price to start out with. That's that's capitalism at its best. And then you're very happy if they just take the high price. Very very happy. In, like, some, in some cultures, they're they're insulted if you take the high price right away. It's like a story my father told me one time. A very shrewd uh, jewelry store salesman. A man came in and he, he was looking for a pair of diamond rings. Uh, diamond earrings for his wife and he said well I really like that set so the guy put them up on the counter and the, and the, the husband really liked me so well how much are these 